Hi there, today we're going to go over the Blue Mage farming setup that you need for almost every single Moogle treasure trove event as well as other things. Let's simply go over all the things you need to participate. The first thing you need to do is unlock Blue Mage. This is done in Limbs and Lominza. Now that we have Blue Mage, you'll need to level it. Now, cough cough, if you want some great ways to level Blue Mage, join my Discord and ask about some of the best ways, cough cough, to level and someone will help you out. I think you only need to be about 49 or 50 for the Orum Vale farm, but it won't take long for you to get to 70 if you get tips from other players. Okay, I have hinted enough on the leveling aspect. That is the easy part. Now we have to unlock spells for Blue Mage. Let's just go in order so then you know what you need to do. There are five spells that are almost essential for this farm. That is Ram's Voice, Ultra Vibration, Missile, Moon Flute, and Whistle. You can use the website Final Fantasy Collect for all your Blue Mage tracking needs. It comes really highly recommended. I will also add that you need Etheric Mimicry from the Farious Serious Hard version, which is a dungeon, that will let you kind of be a DPS, a healer, or a tank and adjust your stats, which will increase your DPS or healing for these kind of dungeon runs. You also need some sort of attack spell for the final boss. I like Sonic Boom and it's really easy to get in the open world. I'm sure there are better ones out there, but I'm just trying to make this as easy as possible for everyone who's just starting, so that one will work fine. You will also want to have White Wind, which you just get by learning 10 spells, which you will do by just leveling Blue Mage and following this guide, so make sure to have that on your hotbar as well. It's a pretty strong healing for the entire party. Ram's Voice you can get in the Dungeon Cutter's Cry at the last boss. Ultra Vibration you can get from Kongamoto at the peaks just out in the open world. Missile, unfortunately, is tied behind the Hildebrand side quest at a later trial, or easier obtained by the Sigma Scape V3.0, which is the Omega Raid series in Stormblood. Moon Flute is probably going to be the most time consuming where you're going to need to complete 10 stages of the Masked Carnival. You can use this Blue Mage Academy Discord in order to help you complete those or Google Mass Stage Carnival for some posts that tell you how to easily get past 10 stages and get the spells you need. Whistle is pretty easy to get. You can just get it out in the open world in about three different places. Now there is another spell that you can get for Blue Mage called Hydra Pool, which is from the dungeon Drowned City of Scala that will pull all the enemies towards you in order to make the combos a little easier. It isn't necessary, but just a little bit of a quality of life upgrade. Once you have all these spells from Blue Mage, you can start Blue Mage farming in these irregular tombstone events as well in other places. The easiest way is to just make a party finder and get people to together to help you farm, or you can ask a friend in my Discord or a Discord you're a part of or an FC member. Most people are down to help you get spells and you see party finders up all the time during events. Most of the time on these events you will see an Aurum Vale farm and this is usually the go to unless there is like some OP farm that only takes 30 seconds. The Aurum Vale farm will include a tank and three blue mages. This is the most common setup you will see. Each blue mage will have a turn phase and usually will be a number one, number two, and number three. This is so then you guys rotate through your combo and don't accidentally both use it at the same time as Ultra Vibration has quite a long cooldown timer. I did have three amazing people from my Discord helping with this, so shout out to them, Hannah Bulma, Nick, one of my amazing moderators, and Sonic Rose. I was number one, then we had two and three. So the tank will begin by pulling the mobs. Once he stops, usually on the first place around the corner, the enemies will kind of bundle up. This will allow me as a blue mage to cast Ram's voice and Ultra Vibration. Ram's voice will freeze all the enemies and Ultra Vibration will instant kill all the frozen enemies. So it's imperative that you freeze all the enemies or almost every enemy in these pools or you'll be stuck DPSing down the stragglers and slow down your farming time. Once you get to the first boss, you'll have all three blue mages cast Missile, which will pretty much instant kill this boss in just a few seconds. Now the tank will continue the pull and the next blue mage, number two, will be up for the Ram's voice and ultra vibration combo. Again, the reason we go in order is because the number one blue mage and the number two blue mage are going to have to go again at the end of the dungeon. There is usually no issues on these pulls except for the second to the last one. It can get a little sticky. 
The reason being, it just ends up being a lot of ads and they do not clump up easily and you can party wipe. So if you are new to this, don't feel bad if you wipe here or don't do it perfectly. It takes a few runs to be able to nail this one down. This is also where that ability I said earlier, Hydra Pool can come in and be really effective as it will pull everyone in a certain radius to make sure you can hit everyone. But because it's synced, your tank can die pretty quickly if you don't do this in a timely manner. So make sure you have a dedicated blue mage casting white wind to keep your tank and others alive if the pool goes south. After this, we will get to the last boss. Missile does not work on this boss, which is why we have these other abilities. Here the tank will pull like normal and all blue mages will begin attacking with attack spells. Now this will change depending on if all your blue mages have moon flute since it greatly increases attack power. If you have all the dedicated spells then you can probably get the boss down to 60% health and kill it with this final combo. As each blue mage will do about 20% of health if you have all the spells. If even one of you is missing moon flute, then you can still do this, but you'll have to get the boss to around 40 to 50% health before you can do the final combo. The final combo is moon flute, whistle, final sting. This will kill yourself, but do heavy damage to the boss and kill it really quickly if done right. From there, you just rinse and repeat and fine tune your pulls and combos in order to make sure to decrease your time as little as possible. This is the basic blue mage farming setup for almost every single Moogle treasure trove event. So you will want to set this up as quickly as possible in order to maximize your returns with these. For more in-depth stuff, I would join the Blue Academy Discord as it's entirely dedicated to the rabbit hole that is Blue Mage, and I will put that link down below. I really wanted to create this video for all players to be able to see the dungeon pool for Orm Vale because I've been playing for a couple of years now, and it always is this dungeon whenever we do Moogle treasure trove events for the most part. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy videos, I have a gigantic library of videos organized into playlists to help you easily find the content you're looking for. You can also find them in the description box or by clicking here.